everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the end of the month readings for April 2020 and I wanted to um, go along the lines of spiritual messages because with everything that's going on at the moment in the world um, I just thought it would be nice to get some messages from the other side so to speak and I have bought my crystal ball in uh, for this reading because I've had this for over 20 years um, and it is a traditional crystal ball and I absolutely love working with it if I do one-to-ones with clients because all I can say, um, when you use a crystal ball it's called, you have to scry the actual um, wording for it and all I can say is to describe it to you, when you scry into this, right, into a crystal ball or you can do it in water, if you've never tried scrying um, and you are into tarot card reading and everything else, then it is worth a try because um, I got into it, like I say, about 20 years ago and it took a while for me to learn the technique but when I actually got the technique, um, it was amazing. It's just, to me, it was like looking at a cine film. Black and white pictures um, were coming through uh, on the actual, you know, through the actual glass. So that's the, um, what I'm going to be doing today is using the crystal ball. And the cards I will be using um, for the messages are the spirit messages from John Holland. So I bought these into play today. I'm also using the um, Whispers of Healing Oracle cards, and that's by Angela Hartfield and Josephine Wall. And I'm also using the Energy Oracle cards. These are quite a new deck to me, and these are by Sandra and Taylor. So that's just a little intro, so you know what I will be doing today, my lovelies. Hi my lovelies, I'm going to start to uh, read now for the lovely Librans, okay, so Libra, I'm just going to move your card out the way and we'll start shuffling the cards, just have a look at what energies are going to be coming in that the spirits want you to be aware of uh, for the end of April going into the start of May, so I'm just going to start shuffling these cards and we'll have a look, and I feel like I want to pick that one there, so we have the energy of listen to your body okay and let's have an energy card to go with this that's strange that is because I think um, Scorpio had that out in a reading that I did recently as well I think it was their weekly reading um, but yeah so that's interesting so let's have a look what we've got oh that's lovely so this is a positive message here, Libra. It is saying that listening to your body, I feel this is something that Spirit are saying to you, you you took that on board. You have literally been doing what, taking note um, and addressing things uh, with your health. And by doing that, it's saying things have got brighter and sunnier in your life, okay? Um, I just want to say that from the sun card here, Spirit is saying to you, yeah, you've been in a very, very emotional uh, period, okay, over the last few months, where you've literally been, I just want to, I want to say that's like quicksand, literally, you've been sort of uh, dealing with health issues around you, okay, where you've just felt like literally stuck in quicksand, like you've been sucked down and you've been trying to fight your way back up, but it's saying here, okay, Spirit is saying to you, you've got through the worst, you've got through the worst, you have actually, it's saying, if we look at the card here, okay, she's like looking at the, the dragon on her shoulder, okay, like the little devil on her shoulder here, saying, I've kicked your butt, basically, I've kicked your butt now, okay, I've got this in order, I'm starting um, to feel more like my old self and this is what Spirit is saying to you, you've done all the hard work and you can actually laugh in the face of the devil now, okay, because I do feel that who I'm, ever connect who I'm connecting with here, um, you have been through some really, really difficult health issues and mental issues, okay, um, but it's saying you have put the groundwork in, you have done all the hard work and you have listened, okay. And by doing that, Spirit is saying to you, the, 
the sun is going to start to come shining in back on your life now and literally you can resurface I want to say resurface okay um, so that is a positive uh, message here and if we can have a look on this uh, vine okay there's a book at the top and it's saying you have the knowledge okay you have the knowledge now um, and it's saying that you know you've done all the groundwork and I was like I just want to say I just want to keep looking at back at this picture here like she's looking just smiling saying no no more of this now and they're just cementing that for you um, and with a spiritual message so let's just have a look at the John Holland message and just see what the spiritual message card comes out uh, with a further message on this for you leaves but that is a really really positive card um, I, I just feel I'm picking up with people who've been dealing with uh, health issues on this. So it could be as well um, for those saying, you know, spirit are saying to you, you know, if, if you're going through this process at the moment, um, it is saying, you know, be, be mindful. Uh, be mindful to what your body is trying to tell you as well okay it could be that some of you are trying to um kick addictions and habits at the moment as well but it's saying you you will get a grip on this and you are getting the knowledge and the help because the sun's there and that's why spirit are saying you will get through this my lovelies so let's just have a look what the other messages on here and we have self-love it's saying now is time to love, nurture and heal yourself. Self-love is not simply a state of mind about feeling good. It's a state of appreciation for yourself that grows and matures from actions you take to support your body, mind and soul. So that couldn't have been a better card really, could it, to have linked in saying here, heal yourself. And spirit are aware that you have, you know, as I said, uh, for some of you, gone through this massive shift Um where with your health okay but it's saying they're just reflecting saying you know the sun is going to start coming back into your lives my lovelies so what i'm going to do now is try and connect um with the crystal ball just to see if we can get some messages for people out there then these aren't going to resonate with everybody okay but um i'm just going to go quiet for a second while i just link in uh with the spirit so i will go quiet for a few moments Okay, I've got the name James straight away coming through here. Okay. Okay, James, who do you want to connect with, please? Okay, and I've got a gene here on the earth plane. And gene, I feel, is, you know, late um, 50s, going up to early 60s. And he's just a bit concerned of his... Uh, her health at the moment okay I've also got the name Cheryl coming through here as well let me just see who Cheryl wants to give a message to Okay, I've got Charlotte and I feel Charlotte's the daughter of Cheryl along the links or it could be um, it could be sort of a granddaughter okay that uh, it may be connecting through as well but I just feel that they are also having difficulties at the moment uh, around health issues and that is why um, she's linking in around uh, Charlotte at the moment I've also got a mic or a Michael coming through now, okay? And they pass suddenly with a heart attack. And I'm not, I don't think they even reached their 50s, they're saying to me here. It's happened suddenly. They were at work at the time, okay? Michael, who do you want to connect with, please? Okay, 
Okay, I've got the name Wendy. Okay, and he, Wendy's got, it's just like they're saying to me it's uh, some kind of significant birthday or anniversary coming around that they are saying, they know that they, they know there's preparations being made um, that have sort of been put on hold at the moment. But that he's just saying that, you know, that he will be around, he's around that person in spirit, he's around Wendy at the moment. Okay. Who else wants to come through? From one of your Libras. Okay, I've got the name Casey now. Okay, I've got Casey. I've got Casey is feeling like she was only in her teenage years when she she passed and I feel Casey took her own life. And I've either got Shannon or Sharon that they are trying to get a message to saying they are close around them at this time because they aren't well themselves. Okay, thank you Casey. Okay, guys, um, it's hard when I'm connecting like this uh, because obviously I haven't got a sort of client in front of me where I can glead energies off. So I do thank Spirit for coming in because I just get short messages um, and I try and keep it brief, especially in the method that I'm using here on YouTube. But um, I just, it's just like a doorway really when I connect with Spirit and then uh, people start to sort of queue up at the door, okay, and it just gets quite noisy sometimes and I sort of have to... Um, you know keep them in check as such but I hope some of you can take um, those messages away with you today my lovely Librans so until next time you take care of yourselves bye then